Get ready to dive into the latest and most exciting Pittsburgh Steelers news. You're about to embark on a journey filled with thrilling twists and turns. Before we delve into this wave of information, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any details and become part of this incredible community. Now, let's dive right into the first piece of news that will leave you amazed. The Steelers surprised everyone by releasing an injured receiver. But what does this mean for the team's future? Get ready for a revelation that will shake up the team's strategies. Pittsburgh Steelers let go of injured receiver. The Pittsburgh Steelers have decided to release wide receiver Jamarcus Bradley from their injured reserve list after reaching an agreement regarding his injury situation. This update comes from the official NFL Transactions page for Thursday. Back on August 8th, the Steelers took the step of waiving Bradley due to his injury. Fortunately, he passed through the waivers process without being claimed by any other team and was subsequently placed back on the injured reserve list on the following day. Bradley had been grappling with a hamstring injury, which head coach Mike Tomlin described as minor. However, the Steelers were facing a bit of a challenge in their defensive lineup. Cornerback Corey Trice Jr. and safeties Damon Tekazi, Keanu Neal, and Trey Norwood were all dealing with injuries, while Minka Fitzpatrick was away from the team for personal reasons. To help fill this gap, the Steelers signed safety Jalen Elliott on the same day they let Bradley go. Bradley's injury settlement will cover the period of time that he is expected to be out of action due to the injury. After that, he will have the option to sign with any other team. If an additional three weeks pass and he remains unsigned, he could then potentially rejoin the Steelers. Standing at 6 feet 1 inch and weighing 198 pounds, Bradley joined the Steelers in November of the previous season. Unfortunately, he spent most of his time on the practice squad and didn't have a real chance to showcase his skills to the Steelers' coaching staff. Before his time in Pittsburgh, Bradley had stints with the Cleveland Browns over three seasons. During his time there, he played in eight games and recorded nine receptions for a total of 124 yards. Notably, he also contributed as a kick returner for the Browns with an average return of 24.5 yards. A graduate of Louisiana, Bradley showed steady improvement each season, becoming the first Ragin' Cajun player to achieve 10-plus touchdowns in consecutive seasons. He also took on kick return duties for Louisiana during his final two seasons, with an average return of 21.1 yards. In the 2019 season, Bradley led Louisiana with an impressive 60 receptions, accumulating 906 yards and scoring 10 touchdowns. His performance placed him second in the school's history with a total of 23 touchdowns. With the excitement building up, it's time to focus on the action on the field. In the upcoming game against the Buffalo Bills, something exciting awaits Steelers fans in the return game. Let's meet a dynamic duo that promises to elevate the game and leave the fans thrilled. Stay tuned to hear the Coach Tomlin's exciting words. Exciting changes in Steelers' return game against Bills. Get ready, Steelers fans, because this Saturday's game against the Buffalo Bills will introduce us to two speedy new players in the return game. Remember when Jordan Bird handled all the return duties against the Buccaneers last Friday? Well, this time it's going to be a dynamic duo, Anthony McFarland and Calvin Austin III. These two guys are like rockets on the field, and the Steelers are eager to see if they can make a big impact. McFarland will be in charge of kick returns, while Austin will be the go-to guy for punt returns. Coach Tomlin can hardly contain his excitement, saying, I can't wait to see our specialists in action. Last week, we had some new, young players take the stage. But this week, we're giving the experienced Steelers a chance. Keep an eye on Anthony McFarland, who's going to light up the kick return scene, and Calvin Austin, who's going to shine as a punt returner. We've been working hard on their offensive skills, especially for the first half of the game. But we're also pumped to see what they can do in special teams. This week, it's all about watching these two guys do their thing. But wait, there's more. Presley Harvin, Chris Boswell, and Christian Kuntz are all set to play, too. After the backups got a shot against the Buccaneers, it's time for these seasoned players to strut their stuff. And let's not forget Calvin Austin, he's been itching to get out there and show off his return skills. I'm feeling super confident back there, Austin shared. I'm ready to grab some plays and put on a show. I've been practicing hard, so I can't wait for this opportunity. 
Special teams have been a puzzle for the Steelers lately. They've been searching for that electrifying player to make big returns. First, it was Ray Ray McLeod, then last year, Steven Sims and Gunnar Olszewski teamed up. But this year, it might just be McFarland and Austin who light up the field and take the return game to a whole new level. Get ready for some high-speed action, Steelers fans. But the surprises don't stop there. Our talented running back, Najee Harris, is bringing a new approach to the training sessions. Find out why he's adopting a more focused approach and how it might influence the upcoming showdown against the Bills. Get ready for a strategic shift that will leave you eagerly anticipating the next game. Coach Mike Tomlin, Najee Harris doesn't need lots of practice plays. The Steelers running back, Najee Harris, hasn't been doing a ton of work during training camp. Mostly, Jalen Warren has been leading the first team offense with a little bit of Anthony McFarland mixed in. Why is that? Well, Coach Tomlin explained on Thursday, and it's not complicated. It's not because of an injury, it's about helping Najee grow as a pro player and giving him what he needs. They're not worried about injuries or his past injuries. Coach Tomlin thinks Najee doesn't need as much practice time. That's why he hasn't been playing as much in training camp. But don't worry, he will play against the Buffalo Bills. Najee will be one of the main players in the game. The team wants to see how things work out in a sort of practice game against the Bills at their home stadium. It'll be the best players from both teams playing against each other for a little while. As he gets older, he needs less practice plays, Coach Tomlin explained. It's not something really surprising. This is an important year for Najee Harris in his third year in the NFL. The market for running backs isn't great, and Najee has already said he's not happy with it. But the Steelers want to make sure he doesn't use up too much energy. We're doing our job, so we don't have much control, Najee said. With Saquon, he was 30% of the offense. He's not trying to make a ton of money, just what's fair. They know he's not getting treated right. He wants a long contract. Right now, he doesn't have any security. We don't have any security. They use us a lot when it's convenient for them, and then when it's time for us to get a new contract, they act like they don't care about us. They just say, oh well, you've been used a lot. Come on, man. They want to use us a lot, but pay us a little. Then they'll get another player and do the same thing. After this season, the Steelers will decide if they want to keep Najee for another year. It seems very likely that they will. Najee and Warren will be a strong pair of players that can help each other out on the field as the Steelers focus on their running plays. The energy levels remain high. George Pickens, the newest star of the team, is shining brightly and winning hearts. And there's more. Kenny Pickett is facing a challenge and showcasing his potential as well. Get ready for an exhilarating dive into the stories of these incredible players. Superstar George Pickens shines. Kenny Pickett faces challenge. Hey, guess what? George Pickens has arrived, and everyone's talking about him. He's part of the Pittsburgh team, and he's really good at catching the football. People are saying he's even better than a famous player named Justin Jefferson, who's known for catching lots of passes. One of his teammates, Patrick Peterson, agrees. He says that when the ball is thrown to Pickens, he always manages to catch it, just like a superhero. During practice, Pickens made an amazing catch that looked like something from a movie. And in his first game this season, he ran really fast and scored a big touchdown. It was so cool to watch. Now, there's another player named Kenny Pickett. He's also on the same team as Pickens. But even though Pickens is getting lots of attention, people aren't talking about Pickett as much right now. But wait, there's hope. A former player named Ryan Shazier believes that Pickett will get even better. He compared Pickett to other great quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, and Patrick Mahomes. They all started out just okay, but then they became amazing quarterbacks. Pickett had some ups and downs in his first year. He threw more interceptions than touchdowns and his passing wasn't super great. But people still really like him because he's a great leader and he's tough. Pickett used to play college football and did really well. He helped his team win a lot of games and even got them into a special game called the Peach Bowl. 
But now, people want to see Pickett improve even more. They're saying he needs to do even better to be like the other top quarterbacks in the league. It's going to be tough, especially with so many other talented quarterbacks out there. The Pittsburgh team has to work really hard to get to the playoffs, and Pickett needs to step up his game to help them. He's got a teammate like George Pickens to help him out, and he needs to use this opportunity to show everyone that he's the real deal and can lead his team to victory. And so, we conclude this thrilling journey through the Pittsburgh Steelers news. I hope you've enjoyed every moment as much as I have. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any episode of the incredible stories this team has to offer.